Plumley, who's jumping right here with Joel. M made the trip because yeah. it's down to the big man. It goes Embiid. Yeah. Together. Me too. He deserves it. Great ball movement by the Sixers. Tie. It wasn't. Say happy with. I'm gonna all of a sudden change right. and become a different kind of player. When he was about to elevate. Speaking of elevation, the clock, but Hayward tips it to himself. And that's what we call him cherry picking. Terry Rozier, so good at the corner. Rozier did it in his Celtics uniform. Still someone to fear. 7 0 points for all many other things that are affected by the hamstring. Harden steps into a triple. Defense gives you. Tucker, shadowing Hayward, fade away. Mentioned it. Has said time and again. Tobias said it after shoot around. Have to use the starting five for 80 games as much as you have in the past, leaving them hopefully fresher come playoff time. Hayward high arc. MB. Shot clock in single digits. Joel rises. And because you never know. That's very true. Lock in your seats today with an interest free payment plan. Hayward with the last six points for the Hornets. MB. Happy. It is very rare that we hear Tyrese complain about not getting a call. Very vocal. To, you know, wow, how he messed that up, so to speak. <laughs> six minutes played thus far. Rebound to Cody Martin, who we're sure if we're going to see him tonight. Some good work underneath. By yeah, he's able to find Richards. Defense breaks down because of that Rozier penetration. Embiid going back at Richards. Three Tough teal shot. jerseys around him, and it doesn't. Tough shot, but he made it look easy. Anthony Melton doing everything he could. Decisive, though. Didn't waste a lot of time once he got it. Knew what he wanted to do with it. Just short, like you said. Richards spins away from Harris. Tobias making it a pace. Harden left alone. And he makes sure. Montrez Harrell have checked in. He faces tonight. Harden the no look to Harrell. The hero of last one. But you can see how he gets it to the rim and finishes so well. Martin, the no look to Richards. This brings to the table there a little microcosm of what he does. Extra possessions for your team. To figuring things out. Harrell, floater. It's good. Flint dealing with a bit of a rib muscle strain. Had some heat on it and shoot around this morning. Daniel House Jr. on the floor for the Sixers. Number 25 at the bottom of your screen. Good work by. Pretty even all the way across the board. Points in the paint. Carroll, the offensive rebound. Some guys just have a nose for the ball. On the offensive end. Charlotte looking to push the pace. And Thor will have an opportunity. 20-year-old, one and done at all. Saw them doing a little chatty pregame tonight. Oubre Jr. We will have an opportunity. Uh, just under nine minutes in the first half. Yeah, we got a lot of basketball left. Yang from way out. For George to take advantage. Smith driving. And hitting. That's still not allowed. It's preseason. We play on. Maxi for three. Yes, sir. Learned the game there, furthered his basketball. Weeks of the regular season, as Doc and company just. So coaches dream about these issues to contend with. Zach. So good in that triple threat position, just freezes his defender and then elevates. Hayward, nice back cut. He's overplaying. Nice read by Hayward, the back door, and his teammate on the same page as well. Hayward's got nine. He's Austin. This will be a little Thor show. Lefty. The hustle plays. I think that's the difference right now. Finally put Park, but uh, the crew will have post game live for you. That's why I did Left to ask him. <laughs> Two minutes. Two minutes left in the first half. That is not what we want to see a collision between Embiid and. As the second quarter winds to a close, just one for their last 12 now on the offensive end. Hayward fading and hitting, pushing the lead to six. Looking. Run outs for not just the three, but scoring in bunches, right? So he's a problem when he gets going. 17 now for here at least. I think we can say the starting yeah. five so far yeah, this season. I don't want to assume season. anything. Very kind of you, though. <laughs> Catch and shoot triple Hayward. It's all right. I'll watch. Oh. When the Sixers are playing. <laughs> Joel has
has been doing work. Oh, oh exactly. So I mean, does it kind of have a knack to him? And he does, seems like. Nice to James. Wing triple is good. Can be a... a <laughs> Anytime I can steal. Foot race. Gordon Hayward lays it up and in. And Tyrese Maxey with a steal. Here comes Tyrese. Lays it up and in. So all that on the latest Sixers Talk podcast. It's presented by... Yes. But surprise nonetheless. JoJo's knife may have come to an end. Harold checking in. Harden. Good night from Dan. Playing together in Kentucky. Harden passes up his fifth three. Maxi driving. Dishing. Great pass. He did their main floor general nowhere, not even in the state. And yet something. Into the contest. Two teal jerseys around Melton. Two around Harold. Blocks gets the loose ball. Lays it up and in. Tight game. Final minutes of this third quarter. Second and third efforts. That's what he's known for. You go up against him, you've got to match that or else he's going to make you look bad just outworking the others on that play. Do not mess with Montrez Harrell. You just got to want it as bad as he does and that's the test each and every night. Do you want to go through what he's going to put you through to get what you want? Shot clock expiring. Richards doesn't see. It's good. Defensive stand by the Sixers. 27.9. Seconds to go in the third. Sixers with a chance to pull ahead as we take a look at our NJM Insurance safe drive of the game. Well, it's going to be Daniel House. Here he is. First attempt goes in. Excellent hustle in transition and in traffic. Your NJM Insurance group safe drive. I like that vocal fade that you just did. <laughs> I'm just happy everything's I'll, going. Uh, the old school DJ. <laughs> you know, they have looked much better in this third quarter. I'm yes. excited that they're playing better, too. And healthy. That's yeah. the thing. I'm just trying to leave this gym tonight with healthy Sixers on our roster. Bottom line. Shot clock winding down. Good move by House. And 3 of 15 from the floor in that third quarter. Forcing eight turnovers. 15 to 3 run. The Hornets only made one bucket last eight minutes and 21 seconds of our third quarter. And it's one thing to be really good at the beginning, but do you have what it takes to finish off these games? We're finding out about both teams tonight. Good kick. To say their yeah. name a lot, I'm okay with that Same. too. Same. I like a challenge. Book Knight looking for another triple, and he's got it. As you mentioned, all that led the ACC in total blocks. 110 on the season. Smith, no on the floater. That time not fouling and bailing out that jump shooter. And then George Georgia is a podcaster. <laughs> he is, he is. I know the uh, Big Niang theory is coming back for a season two. It was meant to bank it. It's like perfectly off the box. Thor with another hand. Stiebel passes up the three. Euro step. Matisse Stiebel. I believe it's green hair. It's out of the key. Book night fading away. In you watch the crowds. A lot of arenas were practically empty. Then you come here to Wells Fargo. It's rare. It's rare. Corpaz behind the back. Charlie Brown, Jr. too strong. Champagne the offensive rebound. And he gets the roll. Shot clock at five. Milton off the screen. Pumps, fires, and hits. Well, that one. Just his body hit the deck. Yep. Good pick and roll action by the visitors. Gonna take advantage of that chance. Even when there's playoff baseball going on, Charlie Brown Jr. Saturday. And Matisse with a steal. Get off the floor, ball boys. It's going into the half. Held the Hornets to just 12 points total in the third quarter. No matter when, just That's don't a bad do it. Call. Exactly. I don't care if there's a minute to go in the preseason. <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> Good inbound. It's not the kind of gauge what they can do on a night in and night out basis. That's why they're still in the G League, trying to show and have confidence grow in them about what they're capable of doing. Final nine seconds of the preseason. And a tough collision between Springer.